hello and welcome to the Styx Range Board webinar. The content of this webinar will be the range board, the range update, the configurator, data analysis, range settings and Styx service, the resource server, the watchtower and additional information. Once they have the 951 together with the LS2550, they have a half Styx range. The 951 with the LS2550 have information that goes to here and from then it will go to things they um, are in the, for the full Styx range, the SR24. The central function of the range board is the, um, for updating, maintenance and control of the whole system. That means the shooting range, everything or a lot of things can be uh, made directly from here. A regular look at the range board will consolidate handling of the system. So if you use it only once a year, uh, it's not so easy to handling. So I will say if you do it for before each shooting, then you are, you, are, you are sure everything is okay, the system is working and you will get familiar with the range board. And we go now to the Seuss cockpit. When you make a double click, first you see here no, uh, is not highlighted, no connection. And when the Seuss cockpit sees the infrastructure, that means the Styx rack, then you get this button activated and you can open range board. We go in now with the administrator. The password is the regular Seuss password and with login we have access to the range board. And the first view is the range details, that means country, location, venue, range and so on. You see also here the range language. At the moment there is German and English. Additional languages will come on. Uh, that's also a possibility if you have or if you are interested in translation of the range board, you can make an email to support at .com and we will give, give you the possibility to help translate the range board. If you switch here from English to German, then the whole system all monitors and so on will change from English to the other language. If you have also possibility here at the user, if you change here the language, then you change the language only in this view, not on the range. So you can still have the range in English and if you are familiar with more familiar with another language, you can switch for only this view for the administrator. Here there are different tabs. The range time, that's here Europe, we have 2.38 p.m. And here we have the possibility to switch on and off live results on S-Cloud. Important note, the, to use S-Cloud you must have your rack connected to the internet. Then you can use this switch and all results, everything goes on on the range. You have access from all over the world to have a look how it goes on on your range with shooting results. We see that in a later uh, um, point. Shot counter, that's here the, um, the menu, which goes open if you click on these lines here. Shot counter, that is an easy shot counter, not, nothing special. It's only, it counts the shots which are shoot on these lanes. 
to go to menu you can press here by the way here you have a bell that means if something goes on like uh, uh, an update a new release you get here a red dot then you can click here and you see uh, the notification for maybe this um, update and you will guide it directly to the update page here you have the main menu with all different possibility uh, what the um, infrastructure or range board will have I do not go step by step the, um, in one after each other I want to go in the way how you set up and operate a range first of all um, when you have a range you have to check if everything is up to date uh, an additional note if there are different releases on the range that means not the same number release number and I will say the the first and second number if I go here now to athlete monitors that means 3.1 it must be on each device on 3.1 it's possible the last digit is different but the first two must be the same otherwise it can happen that the range not works together so you can have here also expand all then you see everything what was uh, is connected you see here also all the devices I have connected they are still there but uh, does not have an effect on the range in the first item here you have the possibility to update the range the entire range if you have connected to the internet then you can press here start and I don't want to do it now um, because if there is an update we have then to proceed the update and and can maybe cannot go on with the webinar so I will stay here if you press start then you have the possibility to do the update automatically the system will get all the necessary software version firmwares from the internet and update the entire range it's also possible uh, it's also the possibility here to update offline that means you go first here and you can put in uh, at, at your computer at this computer um, which I'm working now I can connect a USB drive then I can start here to make an inventory of the range it will save stored on the memory stick then you go to a computer which has internet connection then you can go I can show you that you go to software seus.com click offline update and then you can select your file on the USB drive which con um, contents the, the inventory of the range then the software seus.com will automatically store all necessary um, updates on your USB drive and then you go back to your range start here and then you say you have the uh, software version on your memory stick and then you can upload it from them and update the entire range by one click the clients we have already seen there here you have all the the devices which are connected in the store you see all software version you have ready to download here you also can delete it if you want and you can install it 
On the installation jobs, here you see all the running installation jobs on uh, during the installation. Here you see um, a little bit the progress of the installation of the different components you have connected to the range. If you want, if the jobs are finished, then you can press here, delete finished job, then you have an empty screen here. That's more or less the things for the range update. After the update, we need range configurator to configure the range. When you start or go into the menu range configurator, you are here on the home screen. Here you see my already done configuration. If it's a new range, then nothing is in here. You see here the, my whole range, how it looks like. This button, important note, uh, if you press delete all data, you delete the whole configuration, also the whole devices, everything will be deleted on the range or, or, or on, the, on the infrastructure server. And you have to restart the whole range, including the, the, the Stikes rack. Also, infrastructure and master must be restarted if you press here, delete all data. During the reboot of the, of the rack, then the range configurator um, gets all devices back and then you can go through the wizard to configure the range again. So be careful with this delete all data. Here, the menus, we have range plans. Range plans is <clears throat> normally empty. Here you have the possibility to upload a range plan as a PDF um, that can be done by you. Also, it can be done by uh, some, some person which has done the installation. It makes us at the support easier. If you need help and we are on your range, have access to the range configurator, then we can see here the PDFs that are uploaded and we can download it and we have an overview how it looks on your range. So that can be helpful, helpful for you, for us, for supporting the range. Health check. At the moment, it's empty and it should normally be empty. Here you see all things which are not normal, errors, warnings, um, if there is no internet and so on. And they came up with um, a message and with a error or warning number. And here You have the possibility now over the other or by the, the support website, you have the possibility to search exactly for this number. Uh, for example, 138, that was one of the first code. You see here error code 138. You can go also here if you click here. And then you see what is the reason for the code or what's the meaning of one, uh, code 138? It's range configurator has no configuration. That is if you have a new installed range. Then you see here in uh, initial installation, uh, then you have to run the wizard, um, check for updates, and if you have a configured system, what can be the issue for this error code here? If there is an error code which belongs to a device which has um, a display, the error code will be displayed as a QR code which you can scan with your mobile phone which brings you directly to this error code here. So that means if you see a QR code on a, on a 
display device and you scan that and you use this link you will be directly here and you get some information about the issue and also some things you can do to um, solve the, the problem. System checks, there are um, built-in function tests of different devices. Um, as example, um, a target. Um, there you can make some testings. The testings are the similar or more detailed as before um, in the older systems. So you have different testings which we have built in directly in the in the target, in the shot sense or whatever. And then you can do here the field tests and check if the equipment running and that is maybe one thing you can do before you start shooting you can go here in the uh, by by Zeus cockpit into the range configurator check health check and system checks and if you have a blank screen like that and the same here then you know everything works like it should home we was already when we entered in this menu point configuration you see here the configuration that i have done maybe it's also help if somebody has started the configuration uh, and it what not not necessary you see all the times the date when range configuration was um, runs so you see here when i start last time range configuration so it was nine, nine days before today. Device here you have uh, again an overview about all devices and you see here all services which runs on these devices. Maybe an infrastructure has a little bit more different um, services which runs and also possible is here to exchange or replace a device maybe like the situation here I have two connected now that's the two ones that also running here services is more or less the same screen here you see the again all services which runs on infrastructure but you have here not the possibility to exchange or replace okay and last but not least in the range configurator the wizard here a very important information if you go here and start wizard if the wizard is uh, is started the old configuration will be um, cleared that means you have in any case to redo the wizard otherwise the range will not operate any longer so that's important to know normally only after installation or if there has many things changed then it's important to start with it in all other cases if it is not necessary do not press here start with it then we go to sensor data analysis Sensor data analysis is for the shooting range with has an optical target. Here you can select targets and now it's this one is not connected. I have but the, the, the sensor data are still stored and here you can check for the for the 
for the uh, sensor data and for us it gives us a, a good view how is the the status of this target and you see when when you have something like dirt spider something like that in the system or maybe rubber which uh, hangs into into the, the system then you see it here when you have some signals which are very low instead of all others here and gives you a, a, short, a short overview and will also help us at support if you make a screen copy of that and send us if you think there is something wrong here that's the only thing you can make here in sensor data analysis range settings in range settings you have the possibility to set up different things for the range you have here a overview um, over all services um, interesting can be um, lane scoreboard which i have also connected here with the pencil you can edit it and with this circle with this arrow you can reset to factory default so that means if you have make some selection or or changes uh, which you don't want to have you can press this button and set it back to factory reset if you go to edit you can go by expand all to see every settings you have here um, configuration source is the range configurator um, lane scoreboard group is you can nothing change here um, here is only the default but here you can change um, as example the numbers of shot in the list you can go up to 10 you can have ob uh, ob um, but you can have also only two it's up to you to change here and you can update the settings and if you want to go back to the to the factory set you can press this button reset to default important is if you go and click on a device to edit make the expand all make the expand all otherwise it looks like uh, there is nothing to to change so if you go expand all you see all the things you can set up you have also here the general settings general settings is only the log levels log level it means how detailed the log on the devices are uh, filled up with information normally you can keep it as it is on fatal errors um, you can also go to or if we must know more or um, uh, more details about what's going on on the uh, devices we can switch here maybe to information then all things which has the error level fatal error the errors the warning and information will be stored in the log that means that the log will much more bigger um, because there are more messages um, which has to be stored in the log but it can help in some cases to find an issue on the device <clears throat> but normally keep it on this log level and in when we when we need from support another log level we let you know then we go to the stike service on the stike service you see everything that belongs to the stikes network so here you see all network connector you see all devices you see also how it is connected together 
it scans now the whole network for all devices, all network connector. And you see now we have here a network connector on which are five devices or five channels. On channel five is nothing connected. On the other are connected Stax Long Converter, Temelia, Canopus, Infrastructure. Then the out of the network connector in the rack goes to the in of a uh, Stax network connector, a small one. Here we have lane scoreboard, range scoreboard, athlete monitors. Uh, this BD95, that's the, um, uh, a device for the, um, uh, in, in the back of the shooter to see what the shooters do and also to select um, competition. That's something that we have in Switzerland uh, a lot. And then also you see the laptop computer, which is connected on the out. One thing that can be helpful for you if you have a bigger range and you have to restart uh, maybe a target or a lane scoreboard, um, then you can select, right click, and then you have the possibility to switch on and off the power of the device. In this way, you can switch on and off the whole range or a single device. Here you see all the network connectors which I have connected. So that's so more or less the, the things which are available on all ranges, that means full stacks SR24 um, uh, and also the 951 with Stikes targets, that's on all ranges the same. The next uh, things, the next many items are for full Stikes ranges. We go now to the resource server. Resource server is the meaning every resources are stored here. As a short overview, we have here packages, user, exercise, target picture, flag images, weapons, devices, and mappings. Everything is stored here. We start at the top at the packages. There is a, um, a standard package which comes with the installation. You see it here, that's the system packages which you not can delete so that's safe you do, you can't delete something that is um, from the system but here here is a, a package with i uh, which i have uploaded to the um, resource server um, that's there are competitions exercises which i have made and this one is deletable. Here you have the possibility to import packages and export packages, so you, that means you can make some, some packages on a range, and then export and import it on another range. The users you have here all the users which you have um, cr already created. The same here, you can e export and import and you can create, of course, new ones. Um, we make a new shooter. The name is We call the Müller. Um, Albert. Then we have an organization. 
which we can assign to, we take the club, shooting club, then we have a nation, they are all nation uh, already in, um, I take again Switzerland, and then we have user class, user groups, um, there we see it after, um, they are defined by you and you can use it for forever you want. Organization, that means clubs, um, can be different things. We have here now a CU's organization. Uh, I have made Verein that means club or a mapping demo. There are different things which I can um, make as organization. Also, again, here they are deletable. That's the ones I have made. The ones that came with the system, you don't can delete. That's the legacy um, lane user organization, cloud user. And here you have the possibility to add as many different organization, clubs, uh, whatever you want. User classes and user groups are free to use. Um, it's more or less only a name uh, which you can use to, to make some uh, differences between shooters to can say that different shooter groups or maybe uh, if you have um, championships um, on which uh, two shooters shoots together as team something like that that's possible here or maybe um, if you have uh, at the classes maybe uh, young shooters that active one the old ones um, maybe some some special groups uh, you can do it here the nations, more or less all nations we have already included, but here is also the possibility to, to if you have some, some, I will say, region, state, something like that, which you want to integrate it, um, it's also possible here with flags. The important thing is, check here, the, this code that must be unique, so don't use one that is already um, uh, defined here. Take a new one, take another one which is not already defined. Um, first, I want to go to target picture exercise. We can go at the <coughs> last. Here we have all target shapes. We have that's but it, that's only the picture. Um, what is also uh, what also is needed is the the scoring method, which um, belongs to this target. That's on another place here. You have only the target picture, and you see here all of them. You see there are a lot of different target picture here. We have here moose, we have pork, we have different other shapes. Um, have a look into the target shapes. Maybe you have something that you can use for for uh, for you. Maybe also for a choke shooting. Some sometimes it uh, clubs ask for some choke shootings. Then you can use here another target. The flags. We have integrated all flags we have with the, uh, the official one, which we also need for international shooting. The weapons, here is a set of weapons. Here is also, um, if you need more weapons, let us know. We will integrate it um, so that you have here the possibility to select the correct weapon for your shooting. Have I those that's for internal use? Um, here are the scoring methods. So how is the 50 meter rifle in teacher to, to um, 
uh, evaluate and so on. The air rifle integer, hit miss of an E silhouette. So that here are all the um, different scoring methods and other things. Mappings. The ideas of the mapping, especially here, resource um, mappings, resource to resource uh, mappings. In this case, you can select some shoot um, views on the monitor to different shooter. That means or, or uh, organization. That means you can have if you have two different clubs on one range. If you define the shooter with the, I want to go here. If you define the athletes, and here with the organization, then you can map the mapping demo, the CUS organization, and the Verein demo. You can map to different types of. And now we go here. Favorite exercise. We have the standard, which will be displayed on each um, athlete, which do not have um, a mapping. You see here different shoots I have uh, defined. And if there is a, a special set for a special club, I can define, do not do not use in case of the CUS um, organization, do not use the range standard use the my set and then all shooters which are in the in the organization CUs they will get then this displayed on the monitor and not the standard so you have the possibility in this way to to give different organization a different uh, selection of competition on the monitors to select to define the next exercise, you go um, you, first of all uh, ex exercise definitions. Here are the all exercises which are available. Here you see again some which are not deletable. Ones there, there are some which you can delete. The delete one. There are the ones that I have made. All others are standard which comes with the equipment and now you can say which one is active because you see here that there are a lot of different competition already uh, defined also when we only see the predefined stock packages and then we will, we, we only want to have the ones that we um, really need I will say here for 10 meter I need not the 300 meter rifle so I have it not active I have only active the ones I need then I can go to exercise editor here when I want to make an exercise I go to start wizard and I has, have now the options between create a new exercise or take one already existing and uh, adjust it. At the moment, it's not possible to edit uh, existing exercise. It's only possible to, to um, make a new one or leave the old one as it is and copy to a new one and adjust it. If you want to edit, you have to do it in the way that you make use template, make a copy, adjust it, and delete the old one. Then you have more or less done the same as um, uh, editing. Now we want to create a new one. And now I have to select the exercise type. And here you have a lot of different possibilities of exercise um, how exercise works because not everyone knows this what it means there is also as the error codes in the 
support knowledge base. Okay, we go back to the main. In types in exercise editor. And now you see for each position we have here You have here the explanation for each um, choice which, which you have. The most um, used uh, exercise types are the standard ISSF, single stage exercise and multi-stage exercise. Single stage is the, the, it's comparable to uh, 60 shot, 40 shot, uh, lying um, competition um, like you have it in ISSF. Multi-stage is the meaning of different phases or position. Uh, it means 25 meter um, uh, sport pistol with the precision and the rapid fire phases or position as standing, kneeling, lying, something like that. Those two are new. This one here, group collection exercise for one distance, that's the one which you already know from uh, the barcode library, which um, was used for the 941, 951. That's exactly the same here as you get on the barcode library. If you want to make something similar to an ISSF competition, take this one. If you want to have some uh, sequence of groups like sighting, single, deferred, that means deferred means uh, you shoot five shots and after these five shots you will get the, the scores showed, not for each uh, shot, uh, or not shot by shot. We take now this one, select and I have a 10 meter range, that's the reason why I get here the 10 meter. And now I can select a target and here will all targets shown which I have set active at the exercise definition. So keep it simple. Take only the ones you really need, otherwise you get here um, not any more the overview. We take now the air pistol target. Now I can select the scoring method that um, I can select all or I can say I want only have integer and uh, that's the division, that means the, the distance from the center of the target to the shot position. We can select all and then we can select here what we want to shoot. Sighters, shot by shot, deferred, I take sighters, press the tab button below. Um, number of rounds, if you say zero, you have to press the much button to go from sighting to, to um, the next um, stage. Or you say, I want to shoot two rounds. That means you have to shoot two rounds. Uh, print best shot, that's the meaning if you have a um, collection, I would say, of, of 10 shots and you have select this one, then you will get at the subtotal, you get not only the, the total of these 10 shots, you get also the best shot in these 10 shots. So if the second shot was at 10.8 and it was the best, then you will get the information that the second shot, 10.8, was the best. Then have, you have the, the possibility to add another uh, group or you go to next, I want to add one more, I select the target, 
Now I can change the target if I want. I, I can go now uh, ahead with air rifle, but now I want to go ahead with air pistol again. Again, the tap button, scoring method, again, all shot by shot. That's correct. I want to make 10 shots. Print best shot. Of course, I want to have that. Now I can delete this section or can add another one. I keep it now as it is and go to next. So I have built a competition with two shot, shot sighting, 10 shots shot by shot. Now I can say how it will be print. Um, if you have only um, left printing, right printing, left and right. The left and right, it's more or less um, special for Switzerland. We have, uh, with one printout, we have the original um, printout for the, um, for the organization and the second one as a copy for the shooter. Then here I can say I want to have um, required to enter the weapon type. I don't want to have this now. And here I can say which parameter, like MPI, that's more or less, I can put another one as uh, extreme spread. That's the, more or less the same parameter which you get also already at the 940, 951. But here you can say which one you want to have. Then next, you can give here a comment. Um, maybe with the date next and now we must give a name in this case I write it in this way create and I can say activate and can go to target definitions and I should have here that's the one we have made now it's already activated so that means I can go now to exercise favorites if I go here to my first tab I can add here the webinar from today and save and I have now already the possibility to choose those three different shoots at the monitor. And on the second tab, I have the possible possibility to choose this one. If I want to make change the order, I take it here and put it on this place, which I, I want to have it. That's the way to create resources, shooters, competitions, and also define the look and feel on the monitor um, of, the, of the shooter monitor here. And last but not least, the watchtower. The watchtower is more or less the control center to um, control a competition. Here you see all the lanes. You have range control, assign, that means you can shoot or assign to lanes, a lane view, exercise, and the maintenance. Um, range control, you have an overview, the assign, you can assign shooters. We will do that. Afterwards, we can select lanes. Now, nothing is active. That's the reason why it makes not that much sense to check for the lanes. Exercises. That can be important for a reprint, maybe, or to see what every shooter has already shot. You see here, uh, uh, in my case, if you press here, the I, you see all competition I have done and also you can here do in an easy way the 
save this and you have here the competition I have done. So you can so, so you have the possibility for a reprint and have a look after each different competition I have done. Maintenance, here you can say how long that you want to keep these results. Um, older than a month, they will delete it. Older than six months, a year, it's up to you. Or you can also say here, date and clean up everything that is before this date. When you go now here to assign, then we have the possibility to assign a shooter with next, select the shooter, then we go to next. Then we select a competition that are the same that we have activated in the resource server. We take the one we have made today. Next, we say on which lane the shooter will be shoot, assign. how you can assign a shooter that we have done here. It's also possible, I have a picture here, but that you have an idea, you have at the control unit itself, at the, uh, the athlete monitors, you have the possibility to log in with ID. That means you enter a number, uh, this number here, 152950. Or if you go log in with QR code, um, then automatically a QR code will appear on the on the monitor. You can scan in by by your mobile phone, and then you will, um, will be linked directly to Seal Sports Cloud, and then you can make there a login, and then the monitor starts with your login and Seal Sports Cloud. So that that's an easy way to have all shooters. Um, Locked in in this way, and also the shooters have then the possibility of a shooting sports cloud to see all the results he has shot and, and uh, uh, st stuff like that. And also, if you have no ID, if you have no login at shooting sports cloud, then you have also possibility for guest login. Then you have uh, a unique um, or a unique uh, a universal guest ID which allows you to shoot um, on, on the range. So that's the, the three things you have as a choice when you start um, at the monitor and not control everything by watchtower here. And now for all which already has made an account on Shooting Sports Cloud, and again, I told you at the beginning, it's important to have on, on a range board switch on S cloud. And then you have automatically the view of the actual shooter here. And you can see what's going on on, on, on these targets. The, the view is the same as here. Um, More or less, the, the view is the same as here. You see the um, different shooters, and here you have the, the picture of the of the target. Yeah, the watchtower. So that's more or less a short overview um, over all this function here. I say thank you for all to watch this webinar.